So, I feel like I need to elaborate on my feelings in the first video, particularly the second half of the video, where I talk about game addiction in kids, or in this case, lack thereof, which I believe is the case. So, basically, this is not the parents telling their kids to get off the game, maybe to do homework or to do chores or to eat dinner or whatever and the kids throwing a tantrum no these are parents for no good reason they take they take their cameras and they film their kids flipping out surprise surprise at the parents unplugging the game just for social media attention and then the parents being numbskulls, take their kids to a psychologist over game addiction. Here's where the waters get murky and things get a little dangerous. The problem isn't game addiction. The problem is, is that this kid is sitting there minding his business, playing the game, not bothering anybody, not misbehaving in a way that would get the game taken away. But for whatever stupid reason, you decide to lay, let's make a videotape where I torment my child for no reason at all. Surprise, surprise, they get upset, which I believe they have the right to be upset about because you, in your infinite wisdom, think it's a good idea to pull a mean-spirited prank and film their reaction, and then, even more infinite wisdom, let's haul them off to a psychologist because they had a reasonable response to me being a butthole to them. And then, here comes the psychologist, maybe knowing some parents, they probably don't tell the whole story that, hey, I pranked my kid for the heck of it. And so the psychologist is sitting there diagnosing your kid or treating your kid for game addiction that they don't have. So now your kid is going to grow up thinking that he has an issue that he doesn't have and is going to be treated for an issue that he doesn't have. And that's why I think that doing stupid stuff like this is dangerous.